Today we're going to do the three-point single arm row. So real simple, we're set up in a tabletop position. So if we set up with our knees underneath our hips and our shoulders over our wrists is a good starting point. The arm is going to reach forward so that your wrists are in line and it's going to pull back. Okay, reach forward, pull back. So that's the single arm row in a nutshell. How we get a little bit more core and how we make this a little bit more curling specific Okay, means we're gonna actually on the side of the bench get a little bit more core. So I'm going to actually bring my body forward a little bit so that my knees are no longer underneath my hips. Okay, for me, because I'm a little shorter, I need to be up on my toes. Some people could just step on something, whatever works for you. Okay, and then in the back, I'm gonna make sure that our ribs are down. So if I'm in a standing position, I don't want them flared, I want them down, I want abs on. So I like to get a little bit of rounding in through the thoracic spine, get the ribs down, maybe a little tail tuck. The feet are pushing the body forward. So this right oblique is working. We're trying to keep our chin in a nice neutral position, try not to let it drop. And then from the side of the arm, instead of getting jacked up in the shoulder, we want to always be pushing away as much as possible. Because in, in curling, we've got this push and pull motion. So while we're doing our bent row, one arm is pressing down, we're getting that extension, one arm is pulling back, okay? So pushing with the right, pulling with the left, okay? We're reaching with the left and we're pulling, okay? So keeping that tail tucked, the ribs down, the weight pushed over the front leg, sorry, the front arm, okay? The ribs down, the tail tucked, breathing out, in and out your nose, 